If I asked you guys to list off some RPGs and video games, you would give me the usual examples. You'd give me Final Fantasy, Dragon Warrior, Pokemon, and even World of Warcraft. But what is an RPG? So let's break it down a little bit. RPG stands for Role Playing Game, where you are playing a role and it is a game. You have those in tabletop, you have those in video games. For tabletop, I like playing D&D every once in a while, Pathfinder, All Flesh Must Be Eaten, Stars Without Numbers, some of the more obscure stuff, but still, you are playing role-playing games. In video games, again, we have Final Fantasy, Dragon Warrior, World of Warcraft, Pokemon, those things. So what makes them necessarily tick? Because in tabletop, it's very straightforward. I am playing a role, I rolled a character, I attributed their stats, I created my character, and I'm actually acting out all of the stuff if you're a decent role player. If I'm LARPing, I have a character, I am actually acting out their actions, I am playing a role. But in video games, we don't have the kind of freedom that we do with tabletops and with LARPing, because there is no dungeon master. You don't get to create your own character from scratch nine times out of 10. So what makes it an RPG? How are tabletop RPGs and video games, RPGs the same thing? I don't know. But also video games make it even more complicated because you have all of these different classifications. You have normal RPGs and you have JRPGs. Your JRPGs, Pokemon, Dragon Warrior, and Pokemon. You have your characters, you got your turn-based combat, you have your stats, level up, you are usually anime looking and you're trying to save the world. But conversely, you have World of Warcraft. Even though it's an MMORPG for a massively multiplayer online RPG, you still have your stats, you have your leveling up, you are saving the world, whatever. But here's the thing, not all of them have turn-based combat. World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy are both role-playing games, but one has turn-based combat and one doesn't. So think about that. Does a JRPG have to have turn-based combat in order to make a JRPG? Well, no. Look at Tales of Symphonia. It does not have turn-based combat, yet it is still an RPG. It's an action RPG because it focuses more on the combat, and more so than uh, strategic planning and going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth for combat, but they're still classified as JRPGs. I'm assuming that's because they're both made in Japan. But here's the thing. If I took Final Fantasy VII down to the exact same thing, you have Cloud, spiky emo, whatever, he's saving the world, you got Sephiroth, all this, complete game. Let's say it didn't come out in Japan, but instead it was developed in America. Is it still a JRPG? It is the exact same game. It has all the tropes of a JRPG, right down to the, to the anime characters. Does that still make it a JRPG because it's made in America? I don't know. Does combat necessarily have to be, uh, you know, back and forth and back and forth for a turn based? Or can it be the action stuff that you have with Tales of Symphonia? Or can it be a shooter? Because look at Fallout 3. It's a first person shooter with RPG elements. Therefore, it's an RPG. What is an RPG? If I asked what is a platformer, you guys can usually give me a regular answer. You are running to the right. You're jumping and or shooting. You are platforming, you're jumping from one platform to another, use a lot of skill, that's a platformer. It's just that I'm so confused as to what we're trying to use with the role-playing game genre in video games. Is Zelda a role-playing game? I mean, you have a big adventure, you are playing as Link, a silent protagonist, he's a blank slate and you are the character. Does that make it an RPG? In the same sense, is Final Fantasy VIII an RPG. You're playing as Squall, but he has his own personality. You have no real control over the actions and the story and what he says to other people. Is that still a role-playing game when you're not so much playing a role? At least with Zelda, he's a silent, uh, Link is a, is a silent protagonist, and you ha can project yourself onto him, and that makes it more like playing a role. But additionally, is The Wolf Among Us and is The Walking Dead from Telltale are those RPGs because you have your dialogue options and you get to choose between them. You get to impact uh, your character and influence them in the way that you would actually do it because you're role playing, but both Wolf Among Us and Mass Effect, they have gameplay that is traditionally not associated with role playing games. This is interesting, but you could probably say, well, Drake, anytime that you are playing as a character, you are playing their role. Therefore, it's a role playing game. Okay, is Mario a role-playing game? I am playing the role as Mario. I am taking control of Mario, getting him from point A to point B, 
Saving the Princess from Bowser. We have Super Mario RPG, which is essentially the same thing, but with turn-based combat and with stats and all that jazz, where I'm still playing the role as Mario, but I'm also playing the role of Mario in Super Mario Brothers when I am platforming instead of a role-playing game. And I'm just so confused. Because what is what? What do you consider a role-playing game and what do you consider not to be a role-playing game? You can say JRPG, you can say action RPG, you can say turn-based RPG, strategy RPG, whatever your stuff. Generally, the, the normal consensus is that you have to have stats and or leveling up and you are allocating different things and boosting your character through the traditional pen and paper RPG formula. Cool. In D&D, I have stats. I level up those stats. I level up my character. Phenomenal. Because the pen and paper RPG did originate first. But in Zelda 2, you're increasing your stats. You are increasing your health, your magic, everything like that. In Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you have your stats and you level up. But that's more of a platformer, an action adventure platformer since you are doing the Metroidvania style, but it just, I don't know. Everything just kind of meshes together into this giant gray area. Some people argue that Zelda is an RPG. I personally don't think so. I think it's more of an action adventure game, but why? I don't know. I don't know what anybody thinks because everybody has a different subjective opinion as to what makes an RPG an RPG. I'm very very confused. In truth be told, I don't have the answer. I have what I personally think, but that might not be accepted by the, uh, the general populace. So this is where I turn to you guys. What do you think is an RPG? What do you think makes an RPG an RPG? How many times have I said RPG or role-playing game in this goddamn rant video? I've already lost track. My god. So please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I would love to hear your opinion on what makes this genre tick. What is the genre? Also, if you're at it, uh, you can also click uh, this rant video right here and uh, watch another rant. I don't know. I'm just as confused about how I'm supposed to end this video as uh, confused as I am about the content of the video. So, um, bye guys.